Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support always. I usually don't take it for granted. Now, Kimani Hichungwa, who is the majority leader, is claiming that Deputy President Rigadi Geshagwa threatened Dennis Itumi on August 15th at Eldoret State Lodge by holding him by the collar. The reason why Rigadi Gashagwa hold Dennis Itumbi by the collar at Eldoret State Lodge, Kimani Ishungwa is claiming that Dennis Itumbi has been posting and tweeting some informations that are against Rigadi Gashawa. And so because by then Dennis Itumbi was not having any position, Rigadi Gashawa was so furious why Dennis Itumbi was taking some government informations into his own interest in an extent of destroying him publicly. I want you to listen to Kimani Ishungwa at Spice FM interview. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, just do me a favor, ensure you like the video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing in this video. Because I have realized that sometimes you bump into the video and you watch and you close the video without liking the video. So just do me a favor, watch and you like the video. Thank you so much for that like. Let us listen to Kimani Ishungu. A man, power and money. Then his true character shows up. And I guess that is what has happened. When people got power, they got access to state resources, then their true characters came out. I don't know what you'd say of a person holding high office who walks into a meeting in State Lodge, grabs by the collar a junior officer, the name of Dennis Itumbi, threatening him with physical assault within the precincts of a State Lodge on the basis that someone who had no defined role until recently. Uh, I think he would say his, his work is come here, go there. Mm. Uh, he's not tweeting the things you want him to tweet. Why would you, if you hold high office, be so petty and vindictive with leaders because they are not kneeling before you and hailing you as a king and the greatest of all? Why would you, for instance, be belittling your own member of parliament and telling the whole world how much dowry you paid at his wedding, how you spent your time and money, and mind you, I spent more money and more time in uh, Kiamba mm. constituency, to a young man like Nyugo Nakawanjiko, the member of parliament for Kiamba. Why would you insult the lady, gracious lady who represents the people of Baringo County and call her a prostitute? Because people have refused to sing to your tune or because they have associated with people you do not like. Mm. Florence Jamatia was insulted because he was uh, working at the time being with uh, the member for Kiharu. You've heard the member for Kiamba narrate his ordeal and i can tell you members of parliament especially those from the mount kenya region have harrowing stories of what they have had to go through i said the other day many of them shudder in fear because of this desperation and attempts to intimidate them uh, because you are desperate to pull people together from a region so that you may use the levers of that region and the people. One, as a shield and a mask to mask your true character. And two, to blackmail government and the president. The statement of Kimani Ishungwa is coming at a time 
where there was a circulation of a certain memo that says blogger gets dose of own medicine. We never knew that it was Dennis Itumbi who was facing the wrath of Rigadi Keshawa, where the memo said a controversial blogger and digital strategist in one of the political formations recently got the scare of his life. This is after a senior official confronted him in front of the boss. The political hunko held the blogger by his neck, accusing him of spining propaganda and targeting him in a smear campaign. This is the last warning. The angry senior of official reportedly told the shaken well-known blogger, the man has appealed to security chiefs to assign him more officers as he fears the vicious Honko may make good his threat. That is what the memo read before Kimani Shungwa unveiled. The question is, does it mean that Rigadi Shagwa is a man that is remaining alone, fighting for the Mount Kenya region, as the majority of the mountain leadership, they are distancing themselves and deviating from regarding Shagwa's message of Mount Kenya unity. And so anyone who is periling any news against regarding Shagwa, some individuals are feeling threatened because the man is so little, the man has money, he can mobilize even people against you, and he can do whatever he can do. Many a times, Rigadi Gashagwa has said that he is listening to the ground. And anyone who is not listening to the ground, the storm that is going to come after the December 31st, no political leader from Mount Kenya region will believe their two eyes or their two ears. It is that time to make size now. You are either with William Ruto and Kindiki Kiture, or you are with Rigadi Gashagwa and Mount Kenya unity. That is what Rigadi Gashagwa said. But another question is, do you believe that William Ruto is going to spare this man called Rigadi Gashagwa as he is coming with a storm of not only destroying him, but diverting the attention of the people of the mountain? from the political basket of William Ruto comes 2027. I know many people don't want to listen to about the politics of 2027. But real circumstance is that these individuals are preparing themselves for the politics of 2027. When you see Rigadi Gashagwa coming out to say about the Mount Kenya unity, it's because the man realized as these individuals are kicking him from the Kenya Kwanza government, he must have support from the people of the mountain. And so he wants the leaders to be alone, then he wants to be to remain with the people. There's a tactical politics that Rigal Gashawa is trying to portray, where Raelu Ding has been having it for a long period of time. You find elected leaders, they sometimes don't agree with Raelu Dinga, but Raelu Dinga usually have support, they are supporters. And that is what Regadi Keshawa is doing currently. So that he can have Dehad supporters. And these Dehad supporters are going to show that Regadi Keshawa can be, uh, can be booked into a discussion or political uh, table as we are approaching 2027. So coming out to one Dennis Itumbi, that this is the last warning he's giving Dennis Itumbi at Eldoret State Lodge. You can clearly understand how scenario is. Things are not good. This government is apart. The deputy, together with his allies, Kando. William Ruto, with his close allies, Kando. So the government is in two. Despite of William Ruto preaching about the broad-based government or the government of national unity, some individuals are still feeling they are out of this government. 
and they are not going to be associated with any kind of politics of William Samoy Ruto. Because Rigad Gashago is claiming William Ruto is using some individuals to destroy him in the mountain, yet he's coming from the mountain. He understands the problem, those, the mountain is passing through. So those who are supporting William Ruto, according to Rigad Gashago, these are brokers. That is what Rigad Gashago is trying to portray. For him to have sympathy, support, so that he can kick out William Ruto from the mountain. But the simple question is, is he going to succeed? Is he going to manage to kick out William Samuel Ruto from the politics of the mountain? That is the question we are having. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.